Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create a cartoon or anime or manga shader for your iClone 7 and iClone 8. You can see these two examples. If you don't switch it to cartoon or anime shader, then it is quite creepy. I'll let you see another picture. Right, this is the original iClone 7 and iClone 8 shader. You can see this is the Vroid avatar and it looks quite creepy. And this is the CC4 avatar, Camilla, still okay. And then you switch it to become, become the Toon Shader and just switch a few variables. Yeah, it will be okay. But then you can see the CC4 avatar will have some problem. But if you want to create the, the manga, the cartoons, then you should use this type of the shader to make it look nicely. You don't let your manga avatar or cartoon avatar look like this. It is really creepy. Alright, so I'm going to show you step by step how to create this type of the shader. And now you can see, if you already create it, everything will look nice and it will have the, the line, the sketch line here, like this. Alright. And this one. Right, this is the original one. So. I will show you step by step at here. This is icon 8, same as the icon 7. Do the same thing. So first you have to go to the visual. And then here you take the tune shader. Right, I better start a new project here. This is icon 8. I start a new project. Start from beginning, nothing here. Right, then go to the window, workplace, standard. Standard is enough then. Window, workplace. You Turn it on, turn on all the panels like this. Then close here and close the curve editor as well. Something like this. Next, you can just scroll down, go to my video descriptions and how to create a, a manga avatar. This is a tutorial that I had released a long time ago. The Vroid Studio to iClone. Right, now I, I will just use, use this as the basic and I already have a manga avatar here. The Vroid avatar. Right now, you can see this is a Vroid avatar. And then, this is the original shader. Look, maybe a little bit creepy because it have all, all this type of the, the shadows. And now I, I will just apply, apply the sky, the background, something like this. But it still look, look like just not that nice as the manga, as the cartoon. So you have to go to the visual, then you turn on the tune shader, something like this. And, and next, under the tune shader, you can see if you choose the texture, you choose the color, you still can see some shadows. We don't want to, to see any of the shadows like this. So the directional light or spotlight, you have to choose none. Once you choose none, it only left the IDL, right? Then you still can see something like this. So we don't want to see this type of the shadow. You have to back to the scenes, go to the scenes, switch, uh, and then you have to adjust the light. All these three, you have to deactivate it, right? We don't want to see any light. And then, once you already turn it off, next what you are going to do is just back to the visual. Use the first one, you deactivate the IBL first. You can see, actually now you already switch off all the light. If you switch on the light, then you it is not going to render just because of under your visual, your tune shader. You already select none. If you select the key, you still can see. All right, key, side, back. You just choose none, it's okay. Just let it disappear and back to the IBL. We don't want to use this picture because this picture is not balanced. You are going to replace it with a blank, a blank white image. So now, I'm going to use the paint. This Microsoft Paint, use the Microsoft Paint and then 
resize it to make a pixel of okay 1024 vertical so 1024 something like this all right this is just a, a square we save as put file save as a png on the desktop is there more i'm going to save it on the desktop this is white white.png now and then we are going to replace sorry we are going to replace the ibl just by using the white image just drag in after that you can see now everything will become balanced you increase the strength then now it will totally look like look like the manga and then of course now you are using using the black the black color line so you back to the tune shader here you can change to the texture color now everything will just look like the manga and now everything look perfect all right once you render it it will render like a manga so how to create this manga avatar you can just check my video description i already put it there vroid studio i create this avatar by using the vroid studio vroid studio to i clone with motion plus expression morph plus vsm lip sync this is the full tutorial and today this tutorial i just show you how to use the the toon shader and adjust it make it perfect for any of the manga or cartoons animations and that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my video tutorial if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3d animation and game developing you can subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time i publish a new video tutorial or sharing you receive a notification immediately all right see you in my next video enjoy happy animation and game developing see you